Hi, this is Igor from the Broadcast Company. Uh, we are now in Moscow in the office of Perspectiva Company. And Mike Efimov from Track will be now uh, my camera mate for today. Hi there. And uh, today we're going to present you another great product from the Broadcast. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, another product, and now I have in my hands this DB45. DB45 is a younger brother, the smaller brother of DB4005, uh, already fresh and just new uh, released product, uh, and I uh, explained it in one of our other videos about it. So, uh, it has absolutely the same purpose to control technical parameters of the signal of the uh, receiving stations in multiple receiving stations. DB4005 can monitor up to 50 stations. This small uh, box can monitor up to 6, which uh, is uh, in many, many cases is enough for the uh, stations in the in the, uh, regional uh, broadcasters or uh, something like that. So um, what do we have here? A small uh, compact unit that allows us to place uh, several units in one RU space um, external power supply, so uh, it will allow us to keep it, uh, the unit compact. It does not have uh, analog balance or AES outputs as the Big Brother has, but it has um, headphones output, so you can still can listen to the, the receiving signal. Uh, it still have uh, uh, the port for the GSM modem, for the optional GSM modem, so uh, uh, you can get an alerts from your uh, device and uh, the remote control port uh, for the web interface and the antenna and antenna connector. So uh, very very compact and uh, as you see the all the controls are going uh, from the web interface. So it allows us to significantly lower the uh, price of the unit so any broadcaster can afford it. So then, let's talk about the web interface. Let's look at the web interface. Okay, so let's take a look in uh, inside our web interface. Uh, this is a HTML5 based interface. So uh, it's absolutely not dependent on your platform. So any browser that supports it in Windows platform, Linux, Mac, this is all useful here. This is all uh, uh, okay to work with our web interface. So um, let's log in. Um, admin and pass would be your default password comes from the factory. So, and now we can look at our main window. So my window consists of levels. So this is ref, this multipath, then uh, MPX level, positive, negative, decoded left and right, and loudness. Loudness is pretty much new in our uh, in our products, and uh, in this case, we see our measurements in LKFS, but we can switch to LUs uh, by ABU R128 easily. So the pilot tone level and RDS level is all here. Um, on the left side, we see our presets for the frequencies. We define it later in the setting and explain what it means later. And here we can quickly define the frequency. So just type in the one you want to see and then press set and you are on different frequencies. On top of that, you see your MPX level, your RAF level and all the RDS data. So all the PI, the PS, um, uh, stereo and everything is uh, here and right now. Um, it also defines the quality reception. So um, uh, and now we're looking on a high and good uh, quality. So uh, let's go um, uh, also look on very important uh, feature here. Uh, because basically our unit is probably on the transmission side, so there's the question, how do you can listen? And here comes the green button. So you press the green button and you can hear your radio in real time. So uh, it plays right into your computer and you can listen using headphones or your play out on your studio monitors, it's all up to you. Session time, your local time, it's all, all also seen here, this all. Uh, all here. So let's turn it off and 
Uh, let's go down to the top. So let's see. So next one is MPX. Here is your MPX histogram. So uh, um, in uh, everything above 75, uh, above 80 would be in the red. Everything around 75 will be yellow. And uh, everything that's lower than 75 is now uh, green. So let's check how the other station looks. So uh, 105 and 70, for instance, I'll go back. And there you go, that's a very tight process to signal. So uh, here on the bottom, we will see our MPX power graph. It takes some time to calculate the average and uh, soon, in a few seconds, we will have this average, uh, uh, average value graph starting and going. And you can have here up to a hour of your MPX power measurement. So <coughs> next, next up is loudness. So, uh, and this is where we define our integration time. Here it's set as 30 seconds. Uh, our span, so how long we have our, want to have our sliding window on a graph on the bottom. So it could be a 60 seconds, could be two minutes. And uh, our loudness range, uh, the range where we can want to measure our loudness and display, it's on, uh, on this uh, graph. So it could be zero to 70 and have a much more range to see or uh, zero to 30. So, uh, and we can see it here. So, and then after you have a two minute sliding window, then it goes uh, along uh, your audio and uh, you see the, the, the loudness value in here. So next, next up, an FM graph. So in an FM graph, you see um, all the values uh, on the graph, you find the different colors. So, and you can switch on and off. So if I turn off the amp multipath, so it's on the graph off. So it's very convenient uh, if you wanna uh, watch a certain parameters uh, in time. The next uh, tab is RDS. All the text, RADO text, the PI, the PS, uh, the, all the, your specific RDS tags and radio text available here. The time, date, it's all here. RT Plus is supported. The station does not broadcast anything with RT Plus, but just in case, it will uh, appear here. Your radio RDS uh, groups will see here. The bit of a rate is also here, so uh, you see it here quickly. Um, go next on FFT. So on FFT in real time graph, you see your composite signal. RDS is here, pilot is here, left and right parts. And you can see just left or right. You can switch in, see intra frequency. This is all available here. And additionally, so um, you can uh, change the, the window. Uh, how you calculate the signal. So this is all available, uh, switching in. Uh, let's go next is oscilloscope. Your total MPX signal is here, left or right, and you see a different colors for left and right, uh, so it's convenient to, to see which signal is where. And the stereo, which is important, uh, so you can have a stereo lens and see how how wide your stereo, so how wide your uh, stereo process is working. Uh, on the band scan, you can quickly uh, sweep your bands, um, sweep your dial, quick start, and you see all the peaks with all the stations uh, coming up here. Uh, then next on the status, on the status you can see the serial number, the software version of your assigned uh, IP address. Um, if you have a uh, GSM modem connected, you have here your uh, signal levels, and additionally, you see all the status for all the preset channels you defined in your settings. So, um, and so after you see the status, you can check the logs of uh, the unit. So when you locked in, what was, uh, what was last time the unit reboot? Um, any alarms happened, this will be all on the locks. And locks start inside the unit. So we have a storage, about eight gigs uh, storage to uh, store all these data. So let's look at the settings and very, very important parameters comes up in the settings. So um, 
uh, you see the page when you can define the login and password for the uh, for your logins and for instance we have a user uh, account that allows to see the parameters but doesn't change um, in general uh, you can define the name of your unit and you define the region you're operating for instance you can uh, switch to Japan and uh, then your radio dial will be from the lower value from 66 so um, the date and time is defined here and temperature alarm. So this is very important because on the transmission side, this is important to make sure that the temperature is in acceptable range. So if your air conditioning down, the unit immediately notify about this problem. So um, on the tuner, uh, on the tuner we can define the attenuation, uh, the tuner uh, frequency step, the RDS mode, uh, US and European mode, the emphasis values, 75, 50, the filtering for the bandwidth. This is all possible to define here. And what we, what we monitor in your radio on your presets on the station, this is all on this very important page. You can define the channel name the preset name, the, the frequency, the acquisition time, so how long the receiver will watch for this station uh, until it switch to the new station. The email of the person responsible for this frequency, you can define in here. And so let's look on the alarms. So uh, the unit constantly watches RF level, pilot level, MPX, you know, MPX power, left and right. And look, you can define the severity of alarm. So we can see like, a, uh, you have you know, like to catch your attention, there's something not right, or a warning, there's something really, really something wrong happened, and you can define the limits uh, for all these kind of alarms here. If you see um, here on that uh, the triangle, uh, the black triangle on say on uh, level, uh, this is the real time value. So just for instance, look on a pilot, so it sits pretty much within. Uh, within the defined value, so no alarms will happen. So, and uh, how it will notify you? Uh, it will notify using email, it can notify using SMS, uh, the text message by the modem, if you have a, this modem connected to the unit, SNMP, uh, you can send an SNMP alert, or you have GPI out. So, and additionally, we can uh, uh, check the RDS level, and if any of your RDS groups are uh, fall out, it will uh, inform you immediately. So, and you can define these values for the, all the six channels, and you can export it to the hard drive and import to another channel settings, uh, just in case if you don't want this, to manually set up all these parameters for all these six channels. On the communication tab, you can define your IP addresses, uh, the uh, the number uh, your GSM modem should send the text message, this is all is here. As HTTP server, the session time, and um, for instance, very important is audio stream server where you can constantly listen to your unit uh, using any MP3 player into your uh, remote computer. So just for instance, you can use this, uh, this unit for a login. SNMP, and we are using SNMP version 2 uh, in, in the unit, and here you can download your MIB file uh, for integrating within your SNMP monitoring system. Email, and you can define two emails uh, for the unit to send all the alerts. On the output tab, you can see uh, how loud you want your headphones, or how loud you want uh, your audio when you call to your unit if you have GSM modem connected. You really call the number on the modem uh, which is attached to the, uh, to the receiver and you will hear the audio of the stations the receiver tuning into right now. Additionally, though, the GPO alerts is here. Uh, so it's very easy and convenient to set up here. In the other, you can define the firmware, uh, so you can update the unit remotely. It takes really just a few seconds uh, if we release new software to upload it and uh, reboot after it. Here you can uh, 
change, uh, you, can, uh, you can format the storage if it's, uh, there is too much of the values already stored here, but actually the, the size of the storage is very big. And I can have a factory default here or reboot your device in case if you need. So, uh, in generally, this is uh, very most and most important uh, what we have to be uh, know about this unit. Just in case if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And if you like our video, press like and subscribe.